security thing. But in any case, it's uh, it's usually more of a flat tax, but it does have a cap on it at some point. So once the employee hits the cap, you got to be careful of when that will happen. And that means that you got to track how much has been paid up until this point to see when that cap will be hit. The Medicare is usually more of a flat tax, meaning it's just a rate time the gross pay. So the gross pay times 0.0145 at this point. So we calculated it per properly this time. Last time we messed up the calculation and used the messed up number so we could match our practice problem, but it's just practice. So here it's, you know, we're just estimating the taxes, but that's, it's usually more of a flat tax. This equals the net, the gross pay minus the FIT, federal income tax, minus the social security, minus the Medicare. Now again, you could have other things that would be deducted depending on the circumstances like state taxes, depending on the state that you're in, local taxes, and then possibly other things that would be benefits, 401k plans, and, uh, and health insurance and that kind of stuff. For Erica Smith, we're going to say that she earned 2400 Again, we're just going to estimate the FIT. We're just going to make up a number for it. It would be based on the tables and what she gave us with regards to her W-4. Then we're going to say the Social Security is going to be the gross pay times 0.062. That's more of a flat tax generally. Then we're going to say that the Medicare is going to be equal to the 2,400 times 0.0145. That's going to be the 35. And so then we'll, we'll say this is going to be equal to the 2, 4 minus the sum of these two. So we'll, that's going to be a little bit fancier of a formula. And we're going to make one change up top now notice this is another kind of basically an error that i that i had in the practice problem when i entered this into the quickbooks data so this but it's just a practice problem so we're going to change this social security to be 248 because i did like a dyslexic number switch there when i entered it into our other practice problem in uh in quickbooks but it's just a practice problem it's usually going to be a flat tax on it so just be aware of that, but I'm going to match it up here because I would like it to match to what we have in the other practice problem. And that's going to be the general idea of it. We're just getting the general concept of these taxes and, and how the withholding kind of process works and what the journal entry will be looking like with relation to it. So there it is on a check by check basis. Now I'm going to sum this up, sum it up this way. I'm going to copy that across. We're just going to sum it up, sum it up little dot okay so then we're going to go to the right you could sum it up this way too or do this calculation again to double check given two checks on it it's always good to have two checks or better than one so there it is so now we've double checked it so you can see how this would work both on an